Hi, I'm Damien Feller, responsible for technical support at Chicago Pneumatic. One key element to consider when specifying your tool is how much torque, or in other words, power, you need to complete the job. But what does torque really mean? We've seen many customers confused about torque when choosing their tools. And it's easy to understand why. Not only are there various ways to describe torque, for example, walking torque, maximum torque, breakaway torque, blood busting torque, there are also no industry standards related to measuring torque. So, even if manufacturers use the same term for torque, they do not necessarily mean the same thing. Testing varies enormously. The most important factor to look at with the torque value is timing. How much time do you need to run the tool for in order to reach the required torque? Each tool has its own performance scale depending on its design and it will reach a given level of torque after a different amount of time. From our experience in real-world applications, a typical tightening job should be completed within four circles. So the tool should reach the required torque within this time. Here, at Chicago Pneumatic, we call this the working torque. However, for untightening or more exceptional jobs, it may take longer. And in this case, it's acceptable for the task to take up to 10 seconds. We describe this as maximum torque. When some manufacturers use other terms, for example, nut busting torque, the amount of time for the tool to read this torque level is rarely specified. Users should be aware that in this case, torque is over over market and the product will be under delivered. Please try the difference between a working torque and a maximum torque value. Let's look at two other tools that on paper can do the same job. The first is a CP7732 half inch to be in patch and the second is a 7749 in patch We can clearly see that both tools achieve the same result, but the second one takes much longer. My advice is that if the tool cannot reach the targeted torque in appropriate time for your application, you should think about changing your tool and choosing one that is more suitable for the job. However, torque value shouldn't be your only consideration and it's important to look at data that can be easily compared, for example, timing, hose length or hair pressure. Ultimately, there is nothing better than a real-life test. Here, Hatch Kegodematic we understand that specifying tools can be complex, and we work with customers every step of the way, giving expert guidance for the best tool for your job. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want more information, please visit our website.